morning everyone. Right, it's uh, Thursday. I wanted to do uh, something earlier in the week, but um, again, busyness. Kept thinking, oh, I'll do that video in a minute, or you know, I'll do it after this one. I just keep forgetting. So I just thought I'd give you a little update. Um, I went to the doctors on Saturday. It took him all of about. It took him longer to set the equipment up than it did to actually do my ears. Um, amazing. It felt amazing. I'd recommend it to anyone, even even if your ears aren't blocked, just go and go and get your ears jetted out because it felt amazing. It was like when um, when you got a really bad itch in, inside your ears, and it just feels like amazing just to like get your finger in there and wiggle about. And it was like that, but hands-free. It was it was fantastic. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's just a bit weird, but I, I bloody enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. So now me ears are back to full strength, pretty much. So I can enjoy my music again, and you know it just just feels fantastic. Uh, got my new dog, my new foster dog on Sunday. Um, she's absolutely gorgeous little thing. She's tiny though. Um, she just looks like just like a fox cub and um, she's very very scared of everything she's I don't know what's happened to her but she's so timid and so frightened um, she won't have too much to do with me other two dogs or they're, they're just leaving her to it um, she seems to like my daughter and my son um, I don't know if they detect that sort of thing because if no bad's happened to them it's probably going to be adults that's done it um, she's warm into the wife pretty well uh, just just steadily though but she doesn't if I can get to her and give her some some force and that's fine but if she sees me walking over she'll just get up and run around the room you know shoot around the room to the other side so she's obviously frightened of men um, it could be anything it could be whoever did whatever to her got a beard like I have or you know there's, there's anything that can trigger these these fear effects on, on, on these rescue dogs so you just don't know really don't know what's happened but just keep chipping away until we'll get her back to you know a happy little thing I suppose at some point um, what else? so I'm just leaving Newark I've just dropped one pallet off here uh, so excluding that one now I've got six more drops to do I've got three three round Boston my um, next one is two pallets. I'm going to have to handball that one because uh, it's at a little unit and they've got no forklift. So I've got about 20, 20 odd bags, 20 kilo bags to to lug in, and um, some other ingredients. The box was off. So that's that's my workout for today. And then I've got uh, two factories two more factories in Boston then off to Kings Lynn big factory there and then I've got to shoot down the 47 I've got a couple sort of well southwest I don't know west of Wisbeach head down that way so yes busy enough busy enough for me so I'm fully loaded say bar this one pallet I've just dropped off in Newark and uh, yeah, hopefully, it'll be a nice day. Sun shining. Uh, yesterday was glorious. Uh, I think we got about 24 degrees around where I live. Um, it's quite nice because I, I did an early day yesterday, so I, I got up at I think I got up about half past two. Got down to our depot for about 20 past three, and set off. Uh, Set off to do round sort of this and I and all round sort of bordering Norfolk, Suffolk, that sort of way. On a sprinter, it was all out sort of countryside, so it was very scenic, very nice. The sun was out, so it was it was, it was quite a nice day. I got back about I think about half past twelve, quarter to one. Did my paperwork, went home, and uh, yeah, it was just nice. It was just nice to uh, sort of sit in the garden for a bit. 
in the, you know, in, in the sun. So hopefully, I don't know, they reckon it's going to be rubbish again next week. We'll see. But uh, it's just been nice for this last few days to see what, to, you know, just, just have some nice weather, really. I don't know, I'm babbling there. Anyway, uh, nothing else to report. I'm going to crack on. So take care, everyone, and catch you later. Bye.